when you test for symmetry, uh, something can be uh, symmetrical uh, across the x-axis here if, um, but when you change a point, only the y changes, okay? That's uh, symmetric across the x-axis, all right? Now here, it's symmetric across the y-axis. This is an even, uh, this would be called even symmetry. I'll write that in there because this is good to know. It's even if it can be cut in half, kind of like your face, how your face is even. Now, we couldn't cut it horizontally like up here, but we could cut it vertically. That's why it's even. Uh, and it's also called symmetric with respect to the x-axis. Finally, we could have symmetric with the origin. If it See how this appears to rotate? It's actually reflected twice. It's reflected over the x, or excuse me, over the y, then over the x. Or you could go over the x and over the y. Um, this would be odd symmetry here. So we had symmetry, even symmetry, we had odd symmetry, and this was just over the x-axis symmetry. So now looking at this graph, I can tell you right away that this has uh, even symmetry. It is even, or you could say it's symmetric, oops, or you could say it's symmetric over the y-axis. All right, let's look at uh, another one. Uh, you can support it numerically, sorry, by cho choosing any point. You see how this point flexes over to this point? Over here, this one is right two units, and it's up one, two, three, four, five, six. And over here, it's left two units, and it's still up six. So reflection over, symmetric over the y-axis because the sixes stay the same, it's just the x's uh, switch between positive and negative, they're opposites. Now here, we have that something that is symmetric uh, over the origin. Now how is it symmetric about the origin? It's because it looks like it's been reflected twice. Once here, once over there. Alright, so we could say this is odd symmetry. Or, again, you could say it is symmetric over the origin. And the way you would prove it is you would take any point uh, and just reflect it across and see that both values, the x's and the y's, switch signs. Now, we don't have any good point, so I would just have to choose any one. Let's take this one. This looks like it's up about, uh, they're counting by two, so two, four, six. This point looks like it's up two, but it's left, if we count it, be about one. So I would say it's left one, and that's negative one there. So this point would be negative one comma six, which means symmetric over the origin means they both flip. So at positive one, if we go over here to positive one, we should be able to go down six units and have a point that looks like it's down six. So that would be the point here at one comma negative six.